Please welcome Muhammad Ali. Actions speak louder. Actions speak louder. Muhammad Ali. Mr. Contest Chair and my fellow rubber bands. Two years ago, I had the opportunity to visit the Residence Permit Office in Ankara. Now, this office grants international students and international people a chance to stay in Turkey legal by having a permit. I came at the office at 7 a.m. and I was still waiting till 11 a.m. This was my third visit in this office. The first time I came, I didn't have all the documents required for my application. Because all of the information on the residence permit website for the application was in Turkish. And at that time, my knowledge of Turkish was as good as our knowledge of Chinese. The second time, I came prepared. I was confident that I would get a permit today. I went confidently, submitted all my documents to the officer. But, do you know what happened? The officer at the office told me that his computer says that I am not a student, but I am a terrorist. <laughs> oh yeah. At that time, my name was Muhammad Ali, and I was a terrorist. In just a moment, I was promoted from the status of being a modest, well-mannered, and disciplined child to being the most wanted terrorist in Turkey. Now, this was my third time. If my application got rejected for this time, I would be deported back to my country. But this time, I came with a friend of mine. And as I was anxiously waiting for my turn, suddenly a bell rang. Bring, bring. Muhammad Ali, number 34, please come to desk number four. I was anxious. I was nervous. <laughs> and as I was approaching the desk of the officer, I saw the officer's face expressions from behind. He was extremely angry very irritated, and he was not in a good mood. His face expression was something like this. I became more nervous. And as I was approaching to the desk with my friend, just before sitting on the chair, my friend, who is a cool guy, said to the officer these words. Sir, you look very handsome today. Nice to meet you. And the same officer who had rejected my application two consecutive times did the strangest thing that I could ever have imagined in my life. He did something like this. <laughs> <laughs> to be honest, I was extremely horrified after seeing this expression. <laughs> but you know what? In a couple of minutes, in just 10 minutes, he finally accepted my application. I still remember that incident. I still remember my friend's words. And it always reminds me of the fact that if you have positive actions, if you have positive people, then the results are going to be positive at the end of the day. I had a childhood friend of mine. His name was Fahad. His father had died at an early age and he had no brothers or sisters. But there was one person he cared the most in his life, and that was his mother. 
but his mother was not an easy person to impress. His mother always wanted his son to be the perfect person, and no matter how hard he tried, no matter how hard he tried in academics, in sports, always his mother would still be unimpressed at the end of the day. Finally, he decided to take his life. He took a pistol from the cupboard, knelt down on the floor, and just before he was about to pull the trigger, he recalled all the negative actions and words of her mother, which were, why don't you come first in the class? Why aren't you a perfect student? Why don't you become the best in your class? His mother's negative actions and words were the single reason of his death. Actions can generate strong emotions. Positive actions can inspire you, motivate you, and mobilize you in making you a successful person. It can also help you in realizing the true potential of your life. But if you have negative people who spread negative actions, then those people are going to degrade your potential and finally break you into pieces. Condition. Again, one minute silence, please.